Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today we're talking peptides. Oh yeah, I get excited about peptides and I think you do too. And one of the things I always say is it's important to understand what peptides are in your skincare and what you can expect them to do for your skin because they're not all the same. And that's what today's video is all about. I'm going to be covering four of some of my favorite peptides that I think give really good benefits on the skin and I'm also going to be giving you some product recommendations. So if you are so ready, give that thumbs up button a big old click and let's get started. So let's start with copper peptide. Now this is one of the best and most well studied peptides out there and it really does have a whole host of benefits. The one thing that I absolutely love about copper peptide is that it can help to stimulate collagen production on your skin. Now this is super important if you are on your well aging or anti-aging journey because as you know collagen is that protein structure that keeps your skin firm and strong and helps to resist fine lines and wrinkles. But it as you get older, the collagen structure becomes weaker, it starts to degrade, things like UV exposure can definitely come in and wreak havoc, and that's where we see the wrinkles and fine lines you know, starting to form. One of the best ways to resist that is to get your skin to produce more collagen, and an ingredient like copper peptide can do that. It also helps to stimulate the production of elastin in the skin. It can help with wound healing. It's particularly good for uh, healing up scars. It might help to even um, give your skin a little bit more of an even complexion. And something really great about this peptide too is not only does it stimulate collagen, but it has protective abilities for that collagen structure that's on your skin, helping it to resist the degrading and the breaking down over time. So you can find copper peptide in the Neod Copper Amino Isolate Serum. Now this is interesting because it not only has one percent of copper tripeptide one but we also have one percent of tripeptide one now this is a collagen one fragment that can also help to stimulate some collagen production on the skin but what's really great about the combination of these two ingredients together tripeptide one helps the absorption of copper peptide into the skin helping to make it work for your skin even better now you may notice for other peptides in the formula that that potentially can help with stimulating collagen production and helping the skin regenerate. I'm not going to go too deeply into them because these are fairly new, um, fairly novel peptides that aren't as well proven or as well studied as copper tripeptide one. So the texture here I think is going to be appropriate for all skin types because it's very thin and watery. It does not have like a hydration punch. It does not moisturize your skin. It really is just like a like peptide liquid. <laughs> it really is just a treatment to get the copper peptide into your skin. So it's really thin, quickly absorbed. It doesn't have a weight on the skin. It doesn't have like a moisturization or a hydration factor to it. You will notice a smell. It definitely does have an almost vinegar type of smell to it. That is absolutely a natural and normal. And you know, products with a high percentage of copper peptide in it generally does have a unique smell to it. So you can you can smell the ingredients working in the formula. So don't get turned off by that. And I really enjoy this product. You know, it is a little bit more on the pricey side and just know the ingredients are driving that price in this formula because uh, copper peptide 1%, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but honestly it is. Peptides do work in very small amounts in skincare. So 1% is actually a lot um, in skincare. So that's part of the reason why it's so expensive. But we also have remember 1% of tripeptide one as well. And so that's kind of why it's on the pricier end of things. But I'm really happy to tell you this does work. <laughs> it definitely does work. This is the type of product that you need to be patient and consistent with, just like all skincare. But I do want to like, let you know this is not a miracle worker that's going to give you overnight results. Don't ever expect that. But if you stay consistent with this and if you stay patient, you will start to notice your skin is going to become firmer. It's going to be more lifted. It's going to have more of that refreshed kind of look to it. And you may start to notice 
fine lines um, are just appearing, you know, a little less deep. You may start to notice that. And as you continue to use this, this is a long-term type of product. You will start to notice those benefits sort of building upon each other. I really like this one. Um, the formulation, you know, the way that they've paired the ingredients together to maximize effectiveness, I think is really smart. And um, it really is one of the top copper peptide products that you can try that's out there. But if the price of the Neod isn't quite your speed, I would suggest the Ordinary Buffet Plus Copper Peptides 1%, probably the other uh, most known copper peptide product out there. And this is also very, very good. So as the name suggests, we do have 1% of copper peptide in here. We just don't have the additional 1% of tripeptide one. Now you're going to notice some other peptides on the list, and I'm happy to tell you these are a little less experimental um, and a little bit more studied for benefits than the ones in Neod. So we have like Matrixyl 3000 in here, which I'm going to cover in a little bit. We also have the Botox peptide, which really helps to target um, fine lines and wrinkles due to like expression and facial movements. And again, stay tuned for the rest of this video because I'm actually going to cover those peptides in depth really, really soon. So there's a really interesting formulation happening in this product as well. And that's actually what the name buffet kind of stands for. It's sort of like all that you need in one product, like all you can eat, all you can get, it's all in here. And um, the price of this is a little bit easier on the wallet than Neod. So the texture of Buffet is a little bit different too. Uh, you'll notice this is a little bit thicker. There's a little bit, a little bit of hydration to this. Not a ton. It doesn't blow my mind or anything, but it does offer a little bit more to the skin than Neod does. The only drawback to this serum is just that sometimes it dries with a little, a little tack on the skin. It's really not a big deal because whatever you put on top of it is is going to alleviate that but I know some people don't love like a sticky kind of tacky feel and unfortunately this does have just a little bit of that after absorbing so next up let's cover EGF now this is a class of peptides that are also known as epidermal growth factors there's a couple of different peptides that can be classified as EGF but I'm really just going to focus in on one of the best known ones which is SH oligopeptide 1 so the claim to fame with EGF is really that it rejuvenates and regenerates your skin. And the way that it does it is by uh, really stimulating a lot of epidermal cell growth. And that's where you're going to get that more refreshed, youthful appearance. It can help with fine lines and wrinkles. It can help with wound healing. It can help with skin texture. It really is just about like refreshing your skin. Now, just a quick word about EGF, because sometimes it gets this like kind of controversial sort of like um, reputation. Some people feel like if you're producing and proliferating all of these epidermal skin cells, is that cancer? Could it lead to cancer? Um, no, not at all. It definitely helps with uh, producing the skin cells, but it's not producing cancerous uh, skin cells. It's not mutating them. So an EGF product that I really like is the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. This has SH oligopeptide 1, and it also has another EGF peptide, uh, SH polypeptide 1. Now this has pretty much similar benefits to what we just talked about. Um, and it may, and I'm going to say may with a capital M underlined, may stimulate a collagen production. It's just not really all that proven yet. So we have a similar texture here to uh, the Neod serum. It's very loose and runny and thin and quickly absorbed without offering the skin hydration or moisture. It really is just like a peptide liquid that you're delivering into your skin. And I love what this does for my skin. I've used a couple of bottles of this in the past and every time I have I'm like my skin feel like under my fingertips I can feel that my skin is like more firm and more lifted. It just looks rejuvenated, which is really the word that I associate with EGF. It's just all about rejuvenating and regenerating your skin. And that's how I feel when I use a bottle of this. Just like all the products in this video, stay consistent, stay patient. You will start to notice those benefits, but it's not going to be a miracle in a bottle. 
until towards the end of the bottle, you'd be like, oh yeah, this is actually working for my skin. Now, a quick note about the color of this, because as you notice, not just the texture is similar, but the color is similar to the Neod uh, Copper Peptide Serum. There is no copper uh, peptide in here. That's what makes the Neod Serum Blue is the copper peptide. What makes this particular serum blue is the inclusion of guazoline. And this is a chamomile derived um, extra and that's where we're getting this gorgeous blue color from, but there is no copper peptide in the formula. Next up, let's cover Matrixyl 3000. Now this is a peptide duo, meaning if your product contains both palmitoyl tripeptide one and palmitoyl tetrapeptide seven, then you can rest assured that your skincare product has Matrixyl 3000 in it. Fun fact, palmitoyl tripeptide one contains the same collagen one fragment as tripeptide one. Remember, that was in the Neod case serum that we talked about at the beginning of the video, meaning that Matrixyl 3000 is also going to have the ability to signal to your skin to stimulate more collagen production. Now, this is also a peptide duo that can help with existing fine lines and wrinkles on the skin. It can help to reduce the density or the deepness of those wrinkles. It can also help with like a dull or uneven complexion, just kind of helping to brighten everything up. It can help to firm up your skin, help with the elasticity of your skin. And Matrixyl 3000 also helps to reduce inflammation on the skin, which can result in, um, you know, the breakdown of collagen on the skin. If you have a lot of inflammation, a lot of the time, um, you know, Matrixyl 3000 can kind of help calm that down. And in that sense, it actually helps to protect the existing collagen that you have on your skin. And that's actually like a really important thing to remember as you are on your well aging journey to keep your eye on keeping inflammation low to really preserve the collagen that you do have. So I want to highlight the Ordinary Buffet Serum because this is a great example of using Matrixyl 3000 with some other supportive peptides to give you so much bang for not a lot of buck. You know, this is a very affordable serum that really is just focused on getting those peptides into your skin. And that's what we all want, right? We just want lots of peptides and we want them to work for our skin. And that's, this is a very simple formula and that's really what it's working on. So in addition to all the benefits that we just talked about, we also have those Botox peptides in here that really help with, you know, like expression lines on the face and stay tuned because I'm going to talk about this in just a second. So keep watching. Um, but we also have Matrixyl Synth 6, which is kind of like the newer generation of the Matrixyl peptides. So there's some interesting stuff going on here. We've got some really great proven um, peptides in here. We've got like a slightly novel experimental new peptide coming out. And we've just got this really simple like targeted formula. And I absolutely love this. Um, I, really, I love it for the price. I love it for the ingredients. I will be honest with you. I don't love the texture. And I feel like that's the story a lot of us have with the ordinary. It's like the ingredients are good. The benefits are good. This is definitely going to, to help um, with, you know, helping with the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles on the face. I really do think it gives you a great benefit, but it has a slightly sticky texture again. And in fact, it's actually a little bit stickier than the Buffet Plus um, pep the copper peptides version. It has even a little bit more tack to it um, after it absorbs and dries down on the skin. It's not a deal breaker because as I said, you know, once you put some other skincare on top of it, that stickiness goes away. But I got to dock it points for that just because like I'm picky and um, it's not my favorite thing about it, but it does deliver benefits. It delivers it on a budget. And I think it's actually if you're really just like wanting to know what peptides might be able to do for your skin, I think it's a great place to start. Let's cover that Botox peptide, also known as Acetyl Hexa Peptide 8. This has been having its moment lately. It's been used in skincare for a very long time, and it's actually a really popular peptide to find in eye creams especially, but it's been having a moment because that Botox claim, that's a pretty big claim, right? And um, I actually did address it in a video that I'm gonna link for you right up here, because if you're into this peptide, I've got more product recommendations in that video for you, but let's just cover it really quickly here. 
Now, the reason why it is likened to Botox is because it's targeting the same thing that Botox does, right? Where do you get Botox? You get it where you are starting to get wrinkles or fine lines forming from facial movement, right? Think about like raising your eyebrows and like being really expressive or maybe smiling and you get maybe some wrinkling around the eye or deepening of creases around the mouth, right? That's what Botox targets. And in, in theory, that's what these peptides target too. Is it as good as Botox? Absolutely not. Um, but it definitely does target the same mechanism, which is to um, kind of help to control that facial movement so that it's not so deep, so that those fine lines and wrinkles don't start to get like more deep over time. That's how the peptide works. Now, what's really important to understand about this is when it's targeting facial movements like that and trying to lessen the movement, all it's trying to do is lessen the, the deepening of the wrinkle, but it's not working underneath the surface to plump the wrinkle out with collagen right? So one thing I always say about this is it's a temporary peptide. Will it give you a fast result? Yes. I've been saying patience through this video a lot. This is one peptide you don't really have to be that patient for. It works like within just a few applications, you're going to start noticing a difference. Um, at least that's what I've noticed about this ingredient across lots of different products over a long period of time. You know, those eye creams where you start to use it and after a week or two, you're like, hey, my eye area like it looks so much better. It just looks more firm and more refreshed. I guarantee you it probably has acetylhexapeptide 8 in it because it really does give you that quick result but it's not working at a structural level to really give you long-term anti-aging it's just a quick fix on top nothing wrong with that but that actually makes it a great supportive player with our collagen stimulating peptides with our retinols with our SPFs and things like that it's it's a supportive player. It's just not gonna be the main star in your well aging journey. As I mentioned, one of the best places to get acetylhexapeptide 8 is in eye creams. It's one of my favorite ingredients in eye creams for sure. But if you really just wanna test drive this peptide and isolate the benefits it can give your skin, then I'm gonna recommend the Ordinary Argerlene Solution. Now, this is using 10% of acetylhexapeptide 8. That's a lot, right? And um, this really is, that's it. That's all that's in here. This really is just targeting the expression lines on your face. It's incredibly affordable. It's this thin liquid that's quickly absorbed. Again, no hydration, no moisture here. So it's gonna work for pretty much all skin types in my opinion. And this is really just that targeted treatment for expression lines. And the price actually makes it a fabulous budget option as an eye serum. If you're layering this under an additional eye cream that maybe has some collagen stimulating benefits to it, that's a great way to pair your skincare. You can use this just like maybe on the forehead, just around your mouth. This is actually great for necklines. Like you get that little tech neck, right? Just use this on your neck. It's so affordable. You can use it as a neck and chest serum too. And actually um, the buffet serum um, can actually be used like that as well. But if you really do feel like expression lines, you know, or like tech neck is a big issue for you, this is what I'd suggest you pick up. So now it's your turn to share with me your favorite peptide skincare. Let me know in the comment box below because you know I love me some peptides. Now, if this video gave you some clarity on what's the best peptide for your skin, I would really love it if you could hit subscribe. If you haven't already, I do release a lot of new skincare content just like this video throughout the week. So also consider turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I really hope you are all healthy, happy, and safe, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.